Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. Today is the last day to witness the awesomeness. That is your host, Richard, and I'm Emily. Stay tuned for all the hot dog news. I'll send you now to weather with Alyssa. Thanks, Richard. Today for weather, it will be a high of 86 and a low of 67. It is now 70 degrees and sunny, and around lunchtime, it will continue to be sunny and 80 degrees. After school, it will be 84. That's all the weather for today. Now back to the studio. Thanks, Alyssa. For lunch day in lines 1 and 2, you have chicken nuggets. Line 3 will be soup and salad bar with the chicken rice. Line 4 will be rutini and personal pan pizza. Line 5 will be closed. A happy birthday goes out to Victor Palman and Desiree Robbins. Now to Sports with the Scarlet. Thanks, Emily. For sports today, there's a lot, so bear with me. The boys cross country team qualify for regionals for the second year in a row with a fourth place finish with Harrison, West Lafayette, and McCutcheon ahead of them. The girls team missed qualifying by only one place with a sixth place finish, but were able to qualify four individuals, individuals for regionals. Our individuals were Karina Lenise, Christina Spidio, Ashton McIntosh, and Peyton Debris. Regionals will be back at Harrison on Saturday with the girls' race starting at 10.30 a.m. A congrat goes out to our Twin Lake invite champs. The volleyball team went 4-0 on Saturday, de defeating Section of Foe Western to begin the day. They later took matches from Rochester, Rochester Twin Lakes and Renaissance Central. Each girl had a strong day and contributed to the team achievement. Come out today to celebrate the seniors on their year of commitment and success as members of the Hot Dog Volleyball Program. The JV match begins at 6, with the senior recognition to follow. Another congrat goes, back to, goes to our back-to-back -back sectional, sectional champs. Saturday night, the Frankfurt boys soccer team faced the Crawfordville Athenians in the sectional final at Lebanon. The third matchup of these two teams proved to be an exciting matchup as each team had previous won one of the encounters. Goals were made by Brian Chavez, Manuel Garcia, and Di Damian Lopez. The final score was 3-2. Frankfurt will face Cardinal Ritter in regional action Saturday, October 13 at noon and get his Greensburg Regional. And for bowling this Saturday, the FHS girls bowling came home with a victory. Top bowler was Jordan Anderson, 213 and 188. Next match will be Sunday, October 14th at 1 in Crawfordsville at Plaza Lanes. Now back to the studio with Richard. Any students or staff who didn't get their picture taken last week will have another opportunity to do so tomorrow. If you are new to FHS or miss picture day or like retakes, please come and be ready to take your picture tomorrow. You'll be dismissed by the intercom. Student Council meeting today after school in the collaboration space. Be there. Herf Jones will visit F F F <clears throat> excuse me, FHS on Thursday, October 11th to take your graduation orders. Be sure to know your height and weight. The, the cost of the cap and gown and tassel will be $41.73. You will be able to make your payments, but you will need to have a deposit ready when you place your order. If you need order forms or have any questions, please see Ms. Rennick in the front office. Congratulations again to Benito Lopez for leading Frankfurt's DECA in back-to-back -back weeks this week. This year, sorry. DECA stock market game. There will, there will not be a DECA meeting this Wednesday. All information will be distributed via email, social media, and, work of, and word of the mouth. Members need to stop by the chapter room Thursday or Friday to pick up this year's chapter t-shirt. If you'd like to celebrate boys' soccer regionals, buy a t-shirt for 15 bucks in the athletic department. Get it before Saturday's game. Now, um, now to our College Connection coach, Ms. Scanlon. Good morning, Hot Dogs. I'm Ms. Scanlon, your College That's Connection coach. And today we're going to continue college. talking about the different college options in Indiana, talk about one of my favorite schools, which also happens to be an engineering college. This is Trine University, located about an hour and a half, two hours north in Angola, Indiana. It has about 5,000 students, so roughly twice the size of Frankfurt, but still pretty small as far as colleges go. Now, tuition is $30,000 a year, but they have some great financial aid, so don't let that scare you off. Plus, their dorms cost about half of what you pay at any other college. Now, for students out there who love playing video games, especially competitively, I have some good news for you. 
Trine actually has an eSports league. Students can earn athletic scholarships to competi competitively play video games. They even built a gaming arena with 30 high-end, high-powered computers where students play games like Overwatch, League of Legends, CSGO, Rocket League. Now, for you students who prefer the more traditional athletics, they also have a ton of options for you there. They're building an ice hockey arena right now. They recently renovated their volleyball and wrestling gyms. They have a brand new basketball court, and they're adding a bowling league. Now, seniors, if this sounds like something that might be a good fit for you, they have rolling admissions, which means they are accepting applications right now until the class is filled. But they are starting their scholarship days right now in October, so it's definitely good to go ahead and get a start on it. If you have any questions, I have brochures at my table. Feel free to stop by any time. Have a good day, hot dogs. That's all for HGTV today. Check back tomorrow for a new crew here on the set and more news, weather, and sports. See you later.